Welcome to the Cosmic Drag Podcast with Rashina, the homegirl healer, your source for the trillest, intuitive coaching and encouragement for black women straight from the universe. Get ready for some real spilling and real healing. Hey, homegirls and homeboys, because I know y'all listening to trying to catch this healing drip and I ain't mad at you. It's your girl, Rashina, the homegirl healer. And this is the cosmic drag, honey. We finna pull these cars and let the universe drag us for filth and for healing at the same damn time. So you better secure them edges, girl, before they get cosmically snatched and your beard gonna get snatched too, guys. And let's get right into it. <laughs> So welcome back, everybody. This is the 10th episode of the Cosmic Drag. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe that this is happening. We are 10 toes down. We are 10 weeks deep into this cosmic gangsterdom, and I'm so excited. And so I'm not going to talk y'all to death other than to say thank you so much for all your support and for your listening. I really appreciate it so very much. Now I'm going to shut the hell up and let's get into the cards for this week. So the deck that we're going to use today is one of my, I, I know I always say every deck is my fave, but honey, this is absolutely one of my favorites because I just, I just have always loved this deck since the moment I saw it and had to have it. So the deck that we're using today is the Mythical Goddess Tarot deck by Sage Holloway. Yes, a very, very, very fabulous deck that I love. And I'm so excited to be sharing with you today. So anyway, child, let's go on and get the cards and see what the universe got for us today. Okay, let's pull these cards and see what's up. Okay, so the first card we got, oh yes, big major arcana energy up through here, okay? So the first card is the sun. Yes, and it is represented by a goddess, and I'll tell you who that goddess is once we actually get to talking about the cards. But yes, the sun energy, major arcana energy, I'm here for it. Okay, the second card, ooh, this is the maiden of earth, and the message here is beauty, and what a beautiful card. I can't wait to talk about that. And the third card, mm, so this is the nine of earth, which is all about community. So now that we already know what the cards are, what is the meaning behind these cards, child? Let's jump into it. So the first card, the sun. So a major arcana card, and we know that in tarot, when we have major arcana cards popping, that is like the bigger picture thing. And then, you know, the minor arcana comes in to kind of add sauce and context to what's popping. So the fact that the sun decided to show up as our major arcana card means that it is some big shit popping. And looking at these cards, I'm going to already tell y'all now that like if there was any, like I love every single episode that I've done, good, bad, or different. I love every episode. But if there was ever an episode of the Cosmic Drag that got your batteries charged, honey, this is definitely it. Because these cards, these cards right here, nigga, is definitely a sign that you need to get some shit popping in the very best way possible. So when we look at this card, it is the image of the goddess Amaterasu. Like I tell y'all all the time, I'm not no damn encyclopedia, honey. I do my best with the pronunciation. So I hope that that's right. But anyway... Amaterasu. So she is the goddess that is represented on the sun card in this deck. And so when we look at this card, it is a, the image is simple, but so beautiful and powerful even still. So you see the image of the goddess. She has on a beautiful flowing robe that looks to be yellow because obviously, honey, she's out here popping like the sun. And she has this really beautiful hair piece that looks like the sun with the rays coming out of it. And she has her hands in such a position that it looks like a mudra. But when I really look at how her hands are, it looks like a yoni to me, honey. And you know, if you know anything about me and a homegirl healer and the shit that I do, you know, I'm out here for yoni power period all day, every day. So yes, this card is speaking to me on all the levels. So like I said, this 
Cosmic Drag episode is lit and now is the time to step up and step in and do whatever the hell you want to do. This is the time to really get shit popping. But it's just like literally all around her is light. The rays of the sun are just emanating from her and like they basically envelop the whole scene in this car. And it's like I said, such simple imagery, but such powerful and beautiful imagery. And so Amaterasu is the Japanese goddess of the sun. So that makes this even more appropriate. And she is said to be the most important deity of the Shinto religion. And there is a story about her going into a cave. But many, many years ago, she goes into a cave and she takes all of the light of the world with her because duh, she is the goddess of the sun child and she can do that. And basically she stayed in the cave for so long and the world became dark. And then it was um, sometime later when the laughter of the gods brought her out of the cave. And when she came out of the cave, she brought all of her light with her and light was returned to the world. So first of all, that is just such a powerful story. And I think that it always speaks to the power that we have as women and homeboys. If y'all are listening, just be okay with it. Get with the program, child. It'll be better for you. But yeah, so this car is really, really beautiful. And the messaging and even the, the information about the goddess is so great. And so when we look at a traditional tarot deck, because this is a tarot deck, but it's not a traditional rider wave tarot deck, we know that obviously, duh, this car corresponds with the sun in traditional tarot. And this card was upright. So this card is giving all of the success teas, the joy teas, the abundance teas, the vitality teas, all the teas that we need to be living our best, most popping light filled life. That is what all of this card is bringing. So shout out to the sun card showing up for us today. So now we have the second card, which is the maiden of earth and this card, the message on this card is beauty. So when we look at this card, it's a very, again, this, what I love about this deck is like the simplicity, but the beauty and the power of the images, like, ugh, I just love it. But this card, when we look at it, there is a beautiful young woman and she is just relaxing in a garden. And first of all, she is out here being beautiful. They did the fuck out of this lady on this car because she is out here beautiful. Her body is banging ass everywhere. I love it. She's looking gorgeous. There are flowers all around her. There is like a beautiful little trellis is not the word girl, but a, a arch with flowers on it. Just she's surrounded by the beauty of nature and she literally is beautiful too. So she's adding to it. And so in a traditional tarot deck, this car, the earth of um, the maiden of earth would represent the knight of pentacles. So in this deck, pentacles, the suit of pentacles is represented in this deck or corresponds with the suit of earth here. And so this card is so great because the maiden, when we're talking about the energy of the maiden in this deck, it represents something new blossoming, new beginnings. And the earth suit is literally all about the physical stuff and the the person. It's about the physical. It's about the person, the individual, the environment, and obviously them coins, because you know, the pentacles is all about coins, baby. And so that is a, another great reason why I'm glad this card popped up, because I know we all need them coins and we want them. So yes, more of it on the horizon for all of us. So this card what I really love about this is that when you look at the image, the woman on this car is in alignment with everything around her, you know. And so shout out to the Knight of Pentacles energy showing up here and bringing the focus and the dedication and the hard work that we need to make it happen. So like I said, even though this is not the exact same as the tarot, but we can kind of make the correlations. So where this card with the maiden energy of this car is all about the new beginnings, the night energy from the traditional tarot is all about focus and dedication and making shit happen. So yes, to all of this, honey. And let's get into this third card. So we got the nine of earth, which in this deck represents community. So when we look at this car, it's a very beautiful scene. There are nine women. Each woman is different. Her hair is different. Her color is different. And like literally there's a purple woman, a blue woman, a red, like literally just all the colors of the rainbow represented here. Each woman is different. Her hair is different. Her energy is different. Her vibe is different, but they are all gathered around a fire. So first of all, shout out to the fire element showing up in this card. 
And so when you look outside of the circle that the women are in, you'll see animals, you'll see the earth element, you'll see the air element, you'll see the water element, just literally all of the elements coming here together. And so this car, like I said, is just really beautiful and really popping because shout out to women coming together and creating community. We need more of that. Shout out to girl power. So when we look at this card in the traditional tarot deck, this card would correspond to the nine of pentacles. And I don't already told y'all what time pentacles is on. So shout out to pentacles. And when we look at the number nine in tarot, as in lots of things, um, lots of symbology, but um, in tarot, the number nine represents completion. And so the nine of pentacles is focused on like the individual and their abundance, their success, their financial independence, like just luxuriating in the fruits of your labor, child. You done put in all this work. You done done what you had to do and you live in your best life in the aftermath of it. So that energy is really great and really awesome. So like I said, shout out to the nine of pentacles for that energy. But when you look at the nine of community, um, the nine of earth, which represents community in this deck, it takes the energy of the nine of pentacles to the next level because it brings in the element of community and learning from each other for our mutual benefit. So when we look at the nine of pentacles and all of the individual work that you've been able to do and the things that you've been able to accomplish on your own, when we look at it from the perspective of community, how can we share what we've learned with other people in our community to help them grow and help them elevate, to help them get their business popping to help them get their coins popping. You know what I mean? So we're taking the energy of the nine of pentacles and amplifying it and sharing it and spreading it, spreading the wealth when we look at the nine of earth in this deck. So now that I done told y'all what cards it is, make sure you hit up my Instagram so you can see what they look like for yourself. Let's get into this cosmic drag, honey, because, okay, this, these cards are popping. And these cards are just letting you know that some good shit is waiting for you if you just take the leap for yourself. So this is the time for you to get serious about handling your business, okay? Period. Handle your business. Do what you got to do to get where you want to go, okay? You're no more dimming your light for these fuck niggas. No more dimming your light for these hating assholes. No more dimming your light. For this little funky ass job that is draining your energy and not really pouring at the back until you accept the paycheck. No more dimming your light so that somebody's el somebody else's light can shine brighter. That is for the birds. You should not have to minimize yourself. You should not have to extinguish your light so somebody can feel better. They just need to step they motherfucking game up and feel better about themselves. You don't be the scapegoat for that bullshit, okay? All right. And so the other question that you really got to ask yourself is, is how do you expect shit to grow from you and to grow around you if you don't have your light, if you are not shining your light, if you are not allowing all of the light that you have within you to create the abundance that you want? How you expect anything to grow from that? I mean, it's not, baby. It's a wasteland if you're not really using it for the right thing. And so this is the time for you to step into your light, because when you step into your light, when you step into your success, it's not just about you. Yes, it's about you, but it is not only about you. And you need to remember that it's literally bigger than you because the community is relying on you to come up and give them the keys. It's not just about you playing yourself small because you think you being a team player or because you think that you're trying to make somebody else feel comfortable. It literally just got you fucked up and not living your purpose. You're not doing your mission. You're not doing the things that you was put here to do. You are not being the beacon of light that you was meant to be. So don't play yourself. Don't play your light. Let that shit shine. OK. You not trusting your divine purpose keeps you from completing your mission. It disconnects you from your abundance. Not having your light is literally keeping you in the dark. And shout out to shadow work because that is so important. But that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about the dark where you can't see. You don't know where you're going. You're lost. And what do you need for that? You need your light. So hold on to yours. Stop putting yours down for other people. Let that shit shine bright. And if somebody blinded by, it, oh, well, put on glasses, bitch. Not my problem. Let your light shine so that the beauty that is waiting for you in, in all the aspects of life can grow and can flourish. Let your light shine so that the impact that you can have on the people around you can happen so that they can grow and flourish. When you out here popping and doing your thing, everybody around you 
will start to maneuver and do the same. You be the trailblazer. You are a beacon of light, honey, a beacon of light. You deserve every single yes that is coming your way. Answer it. You illuminate the way for so many others by staying true to your purpose and doing what you are called to do. You are such an abundance magnet, honey. You are popping. This fucking abundance cannot escape you, baby, if you do what you have to do. All right. You are growing and glowing and amazing and so deserving of all of the good things, all of the desires of your heart. You are so deserving of allowing your light to shine. You are just so you are just so deserving of that. You deserve luxury. You deserve opulence. You deserve beauty. You deserve all of that every day in every single goddamn way. Okay. And so with that, y'all already know what time it is. We definitely about to get into this galactic gold. But before we go there, I want to put a little bit of, you know, drop a little seed in your spirit. I want you to Spend time consciously basking in the light of the sun, the literal sun, honey. Obviously, protect yourself, skin, you know, sunscreen, all of that. But I want you to spend time just basking in the light of the sun and taking inventory of how it makes you feel just connecting with the sun in that way. I want you to spend time earthing and connecting with the earth and nature. And if you don't know what earthing is, take your shoes off and put your feet in some grass, honey, and connect with the energy. That's literally all I want you to do in the aftermath of this. Just connect with the the warmth and the light that comes with the being connected to the sun, being out in nature. And just breathe because you deserve it and good things are coming. So you have to get yourself energetically prepared for it. OK, now with that, let's get into this galactic goal. And I'm excited about this one, y'all. I am boldly stepping into my light. I am boldly stepping into my light. I am boldly stepping into my light. Yes, light. And with that, y'all already know we're about to wrap up. But before we go, I just want to take a moment to remind y'all that your girl got Reiki classes popping remotely. We actually have one coming up, I believe the second week of September. So definitely make sure you hit up my website if you're ready to get your Reiki journey popping. I got you. And you can literally do it from anywhere in the world because it's online. Also, if you're interested in distant Reiki, that's on my website and we got that popping. And also, Dub, what we doing here? Intuitive coaching. So come kick it with me live and direct on the interweb <laughs> for your own personal intuitive coaching session. Let's kick it and connect and see how we can get you moving and grooving in life. So with that, I want to say thank you so much for listening and kicking it with me um, for this time today. If you know of any Black Oracle or Tarot deck creators, please make sure you send them my way so I can get their decks and support and use them for the show, but also most importantly support, like I already said. So with that, y'all, I'm sending you forward in light. I'm sending you forward in love. Have an amazing, amazing week. Step into your light. Peace, y'all. Bye. Thank you for listening to The Cosmic Drag with the homegirl healer. Subscribe to the podcast so you don't miss an episode and connect with the homegirl healer on social media so you always know what time it is. Follow Rashina at the Home Girl Healer on Instagram, Facebook and YouTube and at The Home Girl Healer on Twitter and Clubhouse. And share this podcast with anyone you know who could use a good dragon from the universe.